I won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. You don't wanna fuck with me. Got the police busting at me. But you can't do nothing to me. What up, what up, what up? Serial Assassin here, and I got something special for y'all today. Everyone knows that I like to play with my subs and get interactive with them. Well, I was lucky enough to get a couple of my subs on the phone, and I'm sure you have all heard their names before. These two guys were action heroes to me growing up and still are doing it well into their older years, and due to that, they're calling in today to support another older hero, a.k.a. me and help him in supporting my channel. I am honored today to have the opportunity to speak with both Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. I have Arnold on the line now, and Sly will be calling in shortly. So Arnold, what do you think of my channel, Serial Assassin, Age to Perfection? It, it, it has all of the elements in that it makes it very entertaining. Thank you for your kind words, I really appreciate them. We played a couple weeks back, not sure if you remember. If you do, what do you remember about that? and we worked really well together and it was like only a few hours just a fun i thought so too think you'll be able to find time in your busy schedule to play with me again well who knows but so we, we have been uh, you know doing this together and i really enjoy working with what arnold hello i didn't catch the end of that can you repeat it uh arnold uh you there ah sorry folks i think we lost them <laughs> oh well well, I'm being told that Sylvester Stallone just called in and we have him on the line. Sly, I know you're there. You noticed. <laughs> I did. Thanks for taking the time out of your crazy busy life to talk to me. I really do appreciate it. We played a couple uh, games last night. I think we'll have fun again talking today as we did last night. Yeah, we are. We are. We are. We're, we're just uh, a couple of old war horses talking about the oddest subjects on the planet. Okay, well maybe not the oddest, but entertaining nonetheless. We didn't get to play too much last night. I think you rage quit in like in the middle of the third game. Uh, but do you remember when we played? What did you think? I think in the beginning we were a bit competitive, no question about it. No doubt, it was fun. I'm glad you took my advice and checked out my channel. Now that you watched my videos, heard what I had to say, what do you think about me and what I represent on YouTube? I think that there is a relatability. There's an imperfect quality to the character that the audience goes, I, 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 I can accept this guy because he's flawed and he's um, touchable, approachable, real. Wow, that's deep and insightful. You must have watched a lot of my videos today. And I thank you for the kind words. You mentioned in the message you sent me this morning that you love the Surviving Stupidity series on my channel. I think I'm trying to teach a great lesson to my younger audience out there and uh which in the end we we really don't learn all the lessons until sometimes it's too late to apply them true true i think that that it is a good series everyone's fantasy and i think that goes for all of us is if we could just go back and try to fix one thing in our life to, and, and you may not be able to but you want the opportunity so true you you're getting very deep in your old age I can't say enough how great it is to have you talking to me today. So let's touch on the game itself. So do you like Call of Duty and its resemblance to reality? Do you think Black Ops 2 will be more realistic? Well, as real as it can be. <laughs> I know. I'm just hoping that it's much better than the last couple of duties that came out. And Dave Ravonderher from Treyarch has said that he's working on making it better and less camper friendly. Personally, I'm just tired of the camping. It's annoying as all hell. I think last night I got in a game that only one person was actually camping. I was shocked. It is, is a minor miracle. It really is because it's just, it doesn't, it's never happened before and it never will happen again. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what I was about to say. I have to share this with you. I got a clip here from one of your Rocky movies that motivates me when I play and also motivates me in life. Well, let's roll the clip. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. I love that clip. I always try to put the objective first and, and when I play, I don't worry too much about my KD. What do you think about players like me that follow that philosophy? They decide to put their lives on a line for a greater cause. 
And what takes place is a hellacious battle uh, of good over evil. And? To be victorious, even at the cost of their own lives. Deep. I like that. I feel that is an epic way of explaining my game style and those that play similar to me. Well said, old man. Well said. Hey, I got a great idea. What do you think about a little 1v1 sniping with me sometime? I think we'll end up being a hellacious battle to the very end. Really? I'm so looking forward to doing that. I'll be on later tonight and any night this week. Think you're up for it? Think you can beat me? Well, let's, let's find out once and for all what we're made of. You're on, bitch. Hope you bring your A game because I'm going to spank that old ass. <laughs> what do you think about that? It was crazy. It was crazy. All right. Well, thanks, Sly. Thanks again for calling in. Well, that's all today, folks. I just want to say thank you to both Arnold and Sly for calling in, and I hope that you all enjoyed the interviews. If you like this, be sure to click like and share it with all your friends. I thank you for your support and your time. Be sure to click sub to get more great commentaries and entertaining gameplays. Click the sub button. Well, everybody, make it a great day. I'm out. Peace.